Hi guys, welcome back to Wondershare Recoverit, which is data recovery software designed to retrieve data from different storage devices. Let me kickstart today's episode by asking you a question. Have you ever wondered why digital image files are usually stored with different extensions, such as JPEG, PNG, JPG at the end, and more importantly, how do they differ from each other? Well, if the answer is yes, you're not alone. Many people do not know why different cameras and smartphones use different extensions to store images, but the good news is that it's quite easy to understand these different image file formats and learn their significance. In today's episode, we'll introduce you to some of the most common file types and the key differences between them. So stick around and let's get started with the episode. But before that, make sure to subscribe to Wondershare Recovery to never miss out on any future updates. Now, before we dive into the different types of image file format, let's first understand why are there so many different file formats for images? Digital devices only understand binary code of ones and zeros. They aren't able to really understand pictures, and thus image files aren't just a picture. The picture has to be converted into digital code in order to be stored in a digital file. But why are there so many file formats? Well, photographs can have a huge amount of data to include. This can make the file sizes very large, which is not always practical. Many formats will compress the data down into a file. However, while some will compress all of the data, which is known as lossless compression, some formats will be what is referred to as a lossy compression format, which means that various amounts of the pixel information is actually left out of the file in order to further reduce the file size. There is then also then the question of compatibility, as not all devices are able to read certain file formats. So now that you know why images need to be stored with a dedicated format, let's get familiar with the different types of file formats used to store digital images. JPEG, or JPEG, is named after the Joint Photographic Experts Group who originally developed the format. It is the most common file format used to store pictures, as it's supported by pretty much all digital devices and works very well for photographs. In general, JPEG is a lossy compressed format. JPG is actually also JPEG. There really is no difference other than the letter E. Back when JPEG was first developed, Windows could only accept three characters for file format names, so JPEG had to be shortened down to JPG. Since then, however, things have evolved, and now Mac and Windows are able to display more than three characters, which is why you can sometimes see JPEG as well as JPG, but both are actually exactly the same format. If you're a social media buff and love sharing memes on the likes of Twitter or Instagram, then you're already familiar with what GIFs are. Unlike JPEGs, GIFs, or Graphics Interchange Format, is a lossless compression, so it doesn't discard any pixel information. However, it was originally developed for creating things like graphics and logos rather than photographs. So the files are only able to store up to 256 different colors, rather than the 16 million colors of JPEG files. GIF format also allows multiple images to be saved within a single file, which are then looped through to create an animation, which is most commonly seen these days as memes on social media. PNG images usually have a transparent background. These types of pictures are used to store things like logos and banners that need to be displayed over a different colored layer. Now, since PNGs have a transparent background, the color scheme of the particular graphic remains consistent and doesn't lose any detail. Moreover, PNG files are lossless in nature, so even if you edit and compress them, you won't lose any of the picture quality whatsoever. PNG is essentially a superior alternative to GIF in terms of graphics, as it stores more colors whilst being more efficiently compressed for smaller image sizes. However, unlike GIFs, PNGs do not allow for animations. BMP files, more commonly known as bitmap images, are a Windows image file format that stores data in the form of small rectangular grids. 
and BMP files are capable of storing data in 16, 24, or 32 bit color depth. Usually, bitmap files have a comparatively larger file size, but they can still be compressed without losing any quality. TIFF is a file type that primarily focuses on being high quality, but it's not a very common file type. These types of files don't lose quality at all, even if you copy and resave them or compress them multiple times over. However, the reason why TIFFs aren't that commonly used, especially in websites, is they can be very, very slow to load because of their huge file sizes. PSD is short for Photoshop Documents. PSD files are used to store Adobe Photoshop projects, and they can only be opened if your computer has Photoshop installed. In general, people like designers will use PSD documents to share their projects with their teams, as they have the key benefits of being able to save separate layers and components of images, as well as all the edits which have been made so far, so that anyone can easily make or revert changes to a design right away from their system. Many digital cameras and smartphones today will offer the options of saving images in either JPEG or RAW. Now, when you take a photo, there is a huge amount of data that is recorded by the sensor. Now, if you're saving in JPEG, then the camera will discard much of that data that isn't visible to the naked eye. RAW, however, is the least processed version of a digital image, and it retains all of that information. Now, usually photographers will favor capturing images in a RAW format, as it gives them much more scope in terms of editing. During post-production, they can color grade the picture much more effectively using software like Lightroom, and then make the image much more visually appealing. RAW, however, isn't easily accessible without specialized editing software such as Lightroom, so photographers will usually save the finished edited image in a much more standardized format such as JPEG. Now, many cameras allow RAW format, however, you rarely see images saved as a .raw. This is because many camera manufacturers will actually develop their own versions of RAW formats in order to best suit their requirements and for extra security. For example, Canon cameras shooting a RAW format will save their images in either .cr2 or .cr3. Nikon will record theirs in .nef and Sony in .arw. All of these are raw formats that store all of the data from the sensor and allow more flexibility when editing, but internally the formats will be different from each other. While we're on the subject of digital images, it's worth pointing out that accidental deletion of pictures is probably one of the biggest nightmares for any content creator, photographer, or even average user. One can lose pictures due to various different reasons, be it software glitches, SD card corruptions, or viruses. If you're in a similar situation, using data recovery tools like Recoverit can help. Recoverit is a feature-packed data recovery software that supports thousands of file formats. So whether you've lost JPEG files or raw images from your digital camera, Recoverit will help you get them back without any hassle. So here is how you can use Recoverit to get back deleted or lost images on your computer. First, install and launch Recoverit on your system, and then select the location from where the file has been lost. Recoverit will start scanning the selected location and display a list of all found files on your screen. Now be patient though, this process may take a few minutes to complete. After the scanning process completes, select the pictures that you want to restore, and then click on the Recover button in the bottom right corner and select the location where you want to save the images to. And that's it! Recoverit will automatically restore the selected pictures to your desired location. So, that is a wrap on today's episode on different types of image file formats that you can use to store digital images in different situations. We hope we were able to clarify all of your doubts regarding the different types of file extensions used to store pictures. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like and comment down below, and make sure to subscribe to Wondershare Recoverit to never miss out on any future updates.